You want some coffee? Hey, I said, where my money, man? <laughs> it's actually me. What's up, GQ? I'm Anthony Joshua, and today I'm going undercover on the internet. Let's check Twitter. At Kerry Templeman. Andy Joshua, hi. How are you, Kerry? Our school project to inspire readers, would you be good enough to name your favourite book from your childhood and why you liked it so much? From my childhood, remember, Kerry, I get punched in my head, so to wrap my brain and go back is quite challenging. One that comes to mind is the avocado baby. It was about this baby, right? And it ate avocado and just become a beast. <laughs> and one I can remember moving forward into my teenage years is 48 Laws of Power. I remember I worked as a security guard. They were like some gangster firm. Yeah, I met the guy one day at a set of traffic lights and I was like, hey, you, come work for us. He seemed like a switched on kid. And one day he asked me to take his car. So I turned on the CD and it played 48 Laws of Power. And then I saw that certain things he was doing to me are the things he was listening to in the morning on his way to work, kind of manipulate me mentally. So that was the first book I read, what got me into reading. And they say readers make leaders. Posted. What is Dylan White saying to Andy Joshua? This is Love Boxing TV. What's he saying to me here? Bro, you see I'm in Black Air Forces, bro. I'm not messing about with you, you know, bro. I want that fight. Nah, I'm joking. Dylan's cool. Dylan's only messing about. This was just after his fight with Fury, and he's just explaining to me what he had been through. And from that picture, it looks like he's putting me under pressure, but I'm under no pressure there. But I still smoke Dylan anyway. Next. Kent Love 44, would you rather fight 100 duck size Anthony Joshua's or one AJ size duck? Chat shit, get quacked. I would rather fight one size duck Anthony Joshua. Just one, boom, left duck. Hopefully they go down and stay down. Imagine 100 little mini me's running around nibbling at my ankles. It would do my head in. You're stronger in numbers. Next. Rugby Lad UK 2011. If you had to pick who to fight between Tyson Fury or Dylan White for getting belts, who would you want to fight more? If I'm going to erase my memory, imagine men in black, they come with that torch. <laughs> Dylan White, it has to be Dylan White. South London, North London. Fury's good, but he's a Manchester boy. I think Dylan, he has more swag in general, but he's come up short a few times. Replied. At Tim Ken Kabui. If England were playing against Nigeria, who would you support? Well, I don't even follow football, but if I was to, it'd have to be Nigeria. Because in my household, that's the heritage. If you understand that culture, you'll know why. When I go see my auntie or I go see my mom, hello auntie, how are you? Really, do you want a drink auntie, yeah? When I'm with the boys, it's like, hey bruv, get out of the seat bruv. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Know your audience, know your environment, know where to show respect. Replied, Sir Henry, how can I be like Anthony Joshua without going to the gym? So first of all, I'll give you the physique element. Like, you can do it in your bedroom. It's about making do with minimal. Press-ups, burpees, star jumps, core exercises, squats, squat jumps, lunges. From a mindset point of view, reading, resting, routine. Let's make the most of the environment you're in. I only moved out of my flat like two, three years ago. I felt like I, I was able to conquer the world in a two-bedroom flat with me and my mum living in it. It all starts up in here. Replied. How much of your life do you think somebody needs to dedicate to actually do it? Not long but it depends how much time they put in. I started when I was 18, and then I became Olympic champion at 21. <laughs> how would you prepare for Tyson Fury? Andy Joshua, shadow box at Tesco self-checkout. I swear, once a fight or always a fight. You could be in a restaurant, you're a bell ding, you start shadow boxing. How do I prepare for Tyson Fury? What I do, I go back in history, I watch other heavyweights that have fought taller opponents, opponents that are elusive. I also watch the coach who's training Tyson Fury, how he prepares his fighters. And then I'll also watch Tyson Fury from a mental standpoint and understand where he's weak mentally. And I'll combine it all together and go in there and do my best, give it my best. And I'm sure that should be enough. Reddit. How has boxing improved other areas of your life? Along with the success of boxing and becoming champion, I've had to go and do certain things outside of my comfort zone. So I've had to like read books and better my English and represent myself a bit better because growing up, I was a street kid. I was very respectful at home, but I love being out and about causing trouble. And all of a sudden now I'm this role model after winning gold at the Olympics. So I put myself under a lot of pressure, but it actually helped me become a better human being. I think after boxing, I'll be able to do acting because I've done a lot of like commercial work. I understand what like production teams want. I'm quite comfortable in front of the camera as well now. Posted. What role will you go for? I wouldn't limit myself, but it'll probably be more romantic. I don't know how much success I have in the film industry because I don't know how good my American accent is. Can we see how's your American accent? <sighs> <laughs> how, how, how are you doing, AJ? <laughs>
That's pretty good. You want some coffee? Where's my money, man? Hey, I said, where's my money, man? <laughs> Instagram. LFA198. Who asked who to take photo? I actually asked them to take the photo. They were kind enough to give me some time. I spoke to them. They're trenched in English culture. What a great day. I was there to collect an OBE, if I can remember. And the person behind the camera was my mum. It was a lovely family day. Next. All right, let's see some YouTube comments. M24N. AJ's body workout is green tick. But how does AJ work out his mind? Need a list of things to read and listen from him. I like the fact that you like the workouts physically, but I've even learned the importance of the mind and reading, for example, Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And there are loads of podcasts as well. This morning I actually listened to the Boss podcast. There's not like one topic where it's like, we're going to talk about sports today. It's sitting down with the guests and being open and frank about your life experiences. So first thing in the morning, I got a little speaker and then just listening to what people are going through in life. And you never know what life's going to chuck at you. I do take in a lot of wisdom from listening to podcasts. Replied. Damon Stefano, what do you hope you're remembered for in and out of boxing? I feel like in sports, we're easily forgotten unless you become this super, super duper iconic legend. And that's a challenge in itself. So one of my main goals in sports is to be a successful businessman, show people how to create longevity from their career in the ring. You're making your bulk of your income while you're competing, but once that stops, your payments don't. So through my experiences and my business etiquette, I'll be able to pass it on to other athletes because boxing is a small industry and hopefully they can all do well and support their families long after boxing because honestly, I want to be remembered from the people that I've helped, like people that I've actually impacted. Next. What's something that maybe people don't know about you? Okay, I don't look at boxing as what I do for a living. I try and say, what do I do for existence? What makes me feel like I exist on planet Earth is resting well, reading, trying to reach my higher self. And that's what boxing done for me at the start. Made me become a cleaner person. It's more than just getting in the ring and throwing hands. There's a lot of stuff that come with it. Add underscore Chapon. I think that's how you say it. What else is missing to make AJ versus Wilder happen? All this, what else is missing? Let's look to the future. That was the past, why it didn't happen. It would definitely happen. I always say we're in the same division. We're in the same era. That means the fight has to happen. 2023 is looming. It's a big year for boxing. We're all at the top of our division and that fight will definitely happen and bring a lot of light to the heavyweight division. Posted. Quora. How would Anthony Joshua do in the UFC? I would get my ass kicked. All credit to them guys, but it's not my profession, do you know what I mean? And I'm going to respect them guys that have spent their years putting in time, training, grappling, wrestling, stand-up, takedown, submissions. It's like them coming over to boxing. I know I'll smoke them as well. Have you ever been interested in martial arts? Well, I did try judo when I was younger. Very challenging. And when like you're like 10, 12, the last thing you want to be doing is getting flipped in the air and landing on your head and stuff like that. So I stopped. Time to fact check Wikipedia. Personal life. Joshua has expressed an interest in chess as well as reading as a way to reinforce his boxing and tactical abilities. He was a bricklayer before taking up boxing full time. Everyone is a laborer. And that's what I loved about boxing when I started is that it had a crossover. When I was a bricklayer, I started off waking up 5.30 in the morning, be on site by 6.30 and start cracking on at seven. Boxing was the same hustle. I'd be up like four in the morning and go running by five and training at 11 and back and then training at five and then back. And that's the same hustle I'm on now. So bricklaying is quite similar. Yeah, I've got some funny stories about bricklaying, but yeah. <laughs> If I'm honest, there's no similarities between chess and boxing. The only thing I would say is a concentration, staying in it from the start to the finish, even when it gets tough, trying to find a way to win. And then I could probably say planning your next move, but boxing's unpredictable. It's a matter of millimeters, instinct, reaction. Chess is more strategic planning and you've got the time. His overall favorite team was Real Madrid Football Club because of Cristiano Ronaldo, as Ronaldo was a Real Madrid player at the time. Yeah. So... Personally, I don't really like films. I'm not massively into sports, but I just like certain individuals. Ronaldo embodies that hard work and discipline. I feel like that's what I've based my success on. I'm signing off.